Good morning. This is a teaser video for this coming Sunday, August 7th. Um, and I want you to just think about, as we think about this teaser video or think about this passage and, and message, um, it starts out with talking about a fool is someone who says there is no God. So I want you to just think of all the things that you've done in your life that would be considered foolish. Um, you don't have to be unintelligent to make foolish decisions. Um, sometimes we don't like to think we're getting old and we try to do things we used to do when we were younger and as we're feeling the aches and pains, we realize that was maybe foolish. When we're younger and full of energy and we think we're indestructible, we try and do foolish things. So there are a lot of things that, um, that we do or we've done and just because we get older and more intelligent doesn't mean we make any less foolish decisions. I remember a, a, a trial or in a judge or a courtroom, or maybe it was just a story about it, that um, this, this person didn't want, um, he, he claimed to be an atheist, and he didn't like all the Christian holidays, and he said um, that it's, a, it's a, you know, with his belief in atheism, it's, it's an inf you know, it was uh, invading in him with all these different Christian holidays, and he thinks that there should be an atheist holiday, and the judge says, well, there is. And he goes, what, what holiday is an atheist holiday? So he said, April 1st. April 1st is, a, is a, the atheist holiday. Then he quoted and the passage I'm going to be doing is Psalm 53, verses 1 through 6, which is the whole psalm, Psalm 53. But Psalm 14 is a lot like it. But Psalm 53 says, um, basically, anyone who says they're no God is a fool. Therefore, April Fool's Day, uh, April 1st, is the holiday of atheists. Um, I know the judge did it as a joke, but it's one thing to, um, to really look at is when you see this passage calling um, anyone who doesn't believe a fool. Now, we have to understand when you look at Psalm 14, Psalm 53, they, they, they're almost identical. And um, it's King David. And, uh, and King David in his Psalms, King David goes through a lot. And in his Psalms, you see him crying out and, and praying to the Lord. And that's what you see here in Psalm 53. But we're going to talk about the idea of no God and how that is just foolish. And and how we approach that and how we can have conversations and, and those type of things. So I, I encourage you to read the Psalm, Psalm 53. Uh, try to get an idea of what David is going through at the time of writing this. Um, I'm not someone who writes journals. Um, but, you know, it, the fact that King David said this in Psalm 14, it seems like he's having the same thought again later. Um, I don't know if when people who write journals... Sometimes they go back and see they wrote something very similar to something they had written before. I would assume it's um, probably common because if you go through some of the same situations, you may, you know, have the same thoughts and you would jite them down. I'm not, a, like I said, I do not a journal or I don't have a diary. I don't write those type of things. Um, frankly, I can't read my writing anyway, so it wouldn't do me any, any good to go back and try to decipher what I wrote. But that's what we're going to be talking about. So read Psalm 53. If you want double duty, go back and, and compare it to Psalm 14. See what, kind of get an idea what David is going through. And we'll just talk about the theme of my sermon is foolish. The title of my sermon is No God. So the idea of those who think there is no God, Scripture calls them a fool. And they have April Fool's Day as their holiday. So I will uh, hopefully see everyone on Sunday, and we will uh, look at this passage and go over it. Until then, take care. Be safe.